we will continue with the theoretical background for the tips for stiffness analysis. For the classification, we are using the procedure uh, from the Eurocode 1993-18, clause 5.2.2 and 5.2.2.5, the classification by stiffness and the classification boundaries. The joint can be classified as pinned, semi-rigid and rigid. How we can do that? The analysis gives us dependence of the joint rotation on the bending moment, which is this green curve. The limit value of capacity of the connection for the 5% equivalent strain for the plates, two-thirds of this limit value, and the initial rotational stiffness or tangent rotational stiffness is defined like this. And for the level of the design load is the procedure same and the result is the second rotational stiffness. The result values are provided in the result table and you can calculate it by your own and check it. For the classification limit, semi-rigid and rigid are two options. For the frames, uh, where the bracing system reduces the horizontal displacement by at least 80%, this is this one, the top one, and for the other frames, this bottom one. This choice can be defined at the code setup in the top ribbon and he, here in this checkbox. In the geometry tab, uh, there will be another uh, input box if the stiffness analysis is selected. You have to input the theoretical member length to define uh, the length of member for uh, direction Y and direction Z separately. And according to the clause 5.5. sorry, 5.2.25, uh, figure 5.4, the theoretical member length of analyzed member is the span of a beam from center of the column to the center of the column. 